What's up, everybody? This is a force of nature, spiritual awakening, and today we will be discussing Mercury in the second house. Okay, when it comes to the natal birth chart. So this was actually a request from somebody. Shout out to you. Um, but I'm going to do this today. So first, let's talk about Mercury. We know Mercury has to deal with your mind. It has to deal with your intellect. It has to deal with the way that you process information, um, early childhood learning. Mercury has to deal with body language. Okay, so when you are speaking and you're talking and you're moving your hands or somebody's just sitting here like this and not, you know, moving around like that. But this is where Mercury, you know, it has to deal with all of these different type of things. Okay, um, Mercury is linked to Gemini as well as Virgo, which means that in the natal birth chart, it's linked to the third house and also the sixth house. Okay, so... um. Just in general, the second house is linked to Venus. Okay, so when you're looking at this, you can look at this as um, Mercury in Taurus, Mercury in Libra. You see what I'm saying? Kind of vibe going on here. Um, more so, Mercury in Taurus. Okay, so let's back that up. It's going to be more so like Mercury in Taurus than it would be Libra. Okay, however, the second house has to deal with um, luxury, the intake and the outtake of money. It has to deal with survival. It has to deal with surviving. It has to deal with maintaining things, um, solid things, solid foundations, building things. Okay, so when you're just thinking about that right there, you know this is going to be something. But it also has to deal with yourself, self-esteem. Okay. Um, second house does have to deal with luxury. I believe I said that, um, has to deal with beauty, has to deal with creativity, um, peace, harmony. Okay. Pleasant atmospheres and things of that nature. So let's jump into this Mercury in the second house. So this placement is linked to salesmanship, financial gain, writing, speaking, and personnel work business partnerships with siblings and relatives, money-making ideas, money-making schemes. So as you can see right here, these people, minds are geared towards making money, okay? Um, they can have many different side hustles, many different money-making ideas. They would love to go into business with somebody, um, could definitely be a relative or a sibling, okay, that they decide that they want to take this shit to that next level with, okay, so now please note, all right, please note that it is said by many astrologers that these men and women having Mercury in the second house often have multiple sources of income coming in, okay, so no, these are not usually the type of people that just, you know, go to their little nine to five, okay, or their little 11 to seven. No, these are the type of people that's doing that and they're also doing something else, okay? Um, maybe they sell things online. Maybe they, um, maybe they, um, <laughs> oh God, sell things online, but then they can also sell drinks, sell food, okay? All different types of things. Maybe they, um, build, they're builders and things like that. They do construction or they know how to fix things. See what I'm saying? So they have a lot of different, um, lines of income is all I'm trying to say. So these people are being blessed with being smart when dealing with money and managing money. Okay, when it comes to financial resources, these people are excellent at that. Okay, so if you ever having a hard time with money, even this can also go for Mercury and Taurus. Okay, um, these people can help you manage your money, save your money, build your money up, and they know how to do it for themselves. Okay, so having Mercury in the second house indicates that you tend to have a lot of intangible assets such as knowledge. And skills rather than to have tangible assets such as real estate or a car. Okay, so these people are knowledgeable. Okay, um, they can do well in real estate. Of course, we know they can get a car and things like that. But these people are looking for something to be there for the long call. 
Okay, you got to remember that with Taurus. They're about making things last, sticking with something for a long time. Yes, Taurus can be indecisive, not as much as Libra. Okay, but they are a little bit stubborn when it comes to changing their mind. And they really feel, or let's say think, right? They really think that they know best. Okay, so therefore, you may be the richest person when compared with other zodiac signs in terms of knowledge and wisdom. These individuals are patriarchs with deep roots in your history and religion. You are programmed to carry out the family intelligence. So they have a long lineage of people, okay, that also were knowledgeable, intelligent, um, logical, had a strong intellect. You see what I'm saying? When it came to money, making ideas, resources, and things of that nature. All right? So you will become extremely communicative in the art of public speaking, controlling the masses like a politician with the capacity to convey messages to the public. So these people um, are persuasive. Okay? Um, when they are speaking, when they are talking, people can understand them. People can relate to them. You see what I'm saying? So... Just in general, they have the capability and the ability to be able to control shit, run shit, control the masses, okay? Just like a politician, all right? Just like how they do it. And they say, hey, this is what it's going to be. This is how it's going to be. And everybody start falling in line. These people have this power. They hold it with inside of them. Your voice can be beautiful to listen to. May even be a singer or desire to be a professional singer, Okay, this can also go for a rapper, um, along with actor, actress, all of those different types of things these people can do. Poet, all that. Okay? So your logical mind makes you profit and earn gains in your businesses. The way, so the way you calculate, okay, and being analytical, because these people have an analytical mind, okay, it works for them. No one can put you down in a financial situation, in the financial sector. So the positive to this, Mercury in the second house, will be that they are blessed, the universe has blessed you with humor, wit, intelligence, knowledge, and presence when it comes to their mind. Okay, so they're blessed with a, a, a great mind, money-making ideas. Um, they're bright, brilliant, intelligent. They can make you laugh, okay? They, they can make you um, understand where they're coming from. They know how to communicate. So you will be very good in the financial sector. And money management, super clever, and above average intelligence is what these people have. Very good at expressing ideas as per current Market demands, verbal or writing communications, power of persuasion is heightened in this aspect. So now the negative side to this is definitely going to be for the Mercury in the second house people. Um, when it comes to displacement, it can make you stubborn, okay, which we previously said before, very stubborn, and you will not go with the flow. You don't like to be rushed into any kind of work. And no one can push you to do anything that you don't want to do. So this is the thing. Um, as far as this part goes, I really don't think this is even negative. Okay, who the fuck wants to be rushed into doing anything when it comes to work? Rushed, period. I don't want to be rushed at all. And I don't even have this placement. Okay? But these people don't like being rushed to, into doing anything. When it comes to a job, career, things like that, they like to take their slow, steady time. Or their slow time. Or their time. Okay? So nobody's going to push them around, okay? Because of logic and reasoning, you think you know everything and you will not listen to others' advice or take anyone's help, okay? So this is a little bit tricky right here, okay? If somebody wants to help you, let them help you, okay? If someone wants to help you, let them help you, okay? This is how you just get over these type of things. Um, the whole thing of you thinking you know everything these people are knowledgeable and they do have a lot of wisdom, okay? So, we know you know a lot. Just because you know a lot doesn't mean you can't 
continue learning, okay? Because you don't know everything nobody does. Okay, so now, life may bring serious challenges your way that can take a toll on you, but your pride will not make you accomplish as much as you had hoped for. Okay, so this is the challenging thing right this right here for these people. <clears throat> the downside, the negative side. Okay, um, yes, the universe is going to throw challenges, serious, serious challenges in your way, obstacles in your way for you to overcome them, okay? Don't let your pride get in the way, okay? You can accomplish many great things, okay? It is indicating that you may feel like you didn't accomplish all that you wanted to, okay, or that you hoped for, okay? But you will accomplish a lot of different things because you have that type of mind, that brilliant mind set, okay? And I'm going to leave this on this note for now. And future videos to come, I will go more into depth into Mercury in the second house for the men and women that have this placement. Anybody want to get their chart analyzed, hit me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, hit me up. I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So this is a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you in the next one.